I'm meteorologist Chris Michaels in the WRAL Severe Weather Center. A lot to talk about Debbie and its impact here. It's going to include a lot of rain, and we'll get to that here in just a second. Use today, however, to clear out any gutters or drains, maybe mow the yard before the bulk of the rain comes in. And of course, it never hurts to just have the bare necessities around just in case you see any flooding. Future, ca future cast, pardon me, is going to show a few of these isolated showers and storms today. I do think it's slightly overdoing the coverage of showers and storms this afternoon. I do think they're going to be a little bit greater farther to the south and the east. As we head beyond uh, sunset or so, that chance for showers and storms is going to go down to about 20%. So we'll call our chances today isolated. High temperatures in the Sand Hills, upper 80s. Roxborough at 93. Durham, Raleigh about uh, 89 to 90 degrees. Overnight, we're mild, we're muggy, but we're mostly dry. Overnight lows will be around 71 to 75 degrees. Now let's talk about some of the impacts out of Debbie. And of course, we just kind of walked you through some of those today. Most of those uh, coastal rain bands will hug areas east of I-95. We'll call Tuesday a medium level impact as we see some later rain inland, but the uh, more heavy and intense rain by the coast. Wednesday through Friday is potentially high impact for us as we see a lot of rain and our greatest flooding potential. And if the storm center does come inland, we would stand the chance of some uh, gusty wind, which with how wet the ground is could actually bring down some trees. Rain totals for most of us four to eight inches over the course of the week. That's about one to two months worth. Fayetteville, I could see anywhere between about six to ten. You head toward the South Carolina coastline and that's where they could be measuring up to 20 inches of rain, especially toward Charleston. So for today, our storm coverage isolated. Tomorrow it'll gradually increase. Heavy rain at times Wednesday through Friday, possibly lingering into the upcoming weekend.